You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to bring you Vintage Toy Day. Yeah, I found this recently and thought it'd be cool to just take you through the process of checking out a new toy, a box, cleaning it, and getting it ready for a video. So that's what I'm going to do. So this video might take a little time. It is the motocross bicycle racing game from Woolworths Woolco. It was an exclusive. Now the toy itself is a Tomy, and it was distributed by F.W. Woolworth Company, made in Japan. Not recommended for children under five years, so check out the top of that box. Oh, look at that. So it's these little motocross bikes that travel around this track, and then they lap, little lap counter up here. It's a figure eight. Over and under, four lane track with automatic lap timer. Now, I just got it, so I haven't done any cleaning to it. Here's the silver side here, so you can see this panel. The bottom is just the styrofoam insert, where it requires 1D battery, which I have. Originally, $9.96. Now, looking at the box, if I got a box like this, I would probably do a quick cleaning to it, just to see if I could clean it off. So here we go. I use these a lot, these dual action Lysol wipes. I make sure that it's not too wet. I see spots on it, so I'm just gonna give it a quick wipe down. So a lot of times this is what I do before I start a video. And now you can see the dirt that was just on the box. I like to get all that off and then I'll dry it. I wanna make sure that this is not too wet. So there is a process that goes along with a toy like this. Then let's take a look inside, here we go. So this is how I found it, everything in there, nothing's been cleaned. Now normally I do go over everything to make sure all the parts are there. So that's one step that I do before I even clean it. So that, I noticed there was some pieces missing, but fortunately I was able to make some replacement pieces using my PlastiCast. So it's all these steps, here you look. Batteries, place 1D battery on the reverse side of ramp and slide cover back in place from right side, then connect. And you are set to go. So there's an on off switch here, turn switch on, and lift up starting gate to start the race. Don't see a year just yet. And then looking at most of the track, I don't know if you can see it, it's a little dirty. There's spots on it. So I'm going to take this and just run it over all this track and kind of clean out the grooves. I'll show you how much dirt is really on it that you don't see. Look at that. Do you see that? Here, let me start with a clean side. Okay, so right there, there is no dirt. So let me clean this piece. And then I will show you what it looks like. Now, I'm not going to clean the whole thing on camera with you, see how much dirt was in that track. But I will do some, and then I'll come back and do the rest off camera. So this is the process anytime I check out a new toy. So these, I would just give these a quick wipe down. It's hard to tell if there's dirt on them, but it does take any dust. Cleans them up. These are the stands. Now, these are lettered. So this is the letter E, and that matches up with the track on the bottom. That's E, so I know that one's gonna go to that. And let me just show you a couple of little bikes. So he's got a little spot, dirt on him. I'll see if that cleans off. It does, looks better. I'm not sure if he, here, look at this. So he rolls, and then his little legs are on that, they get moved up and down on that little pin. Now this is cardboard. A lot of times I'll just leave this. This dial could use a little bit of cleaning, but I'll leave the rest. Plain colors and counter. And then these are the pieces I made. These are little trees. These were missing from the box. So I just quickly put some together. They go in this spot here so that at least it'll look complete like the box. All right. So what I will do is, I'll probably usually just wipe down all the pieces just to get off any dust. And now we can see further in the box. 
and then I'll go through clean all the track make it nice and clean and when I come back then I will have the track at least to the point where I would normally start the video how about that so I will be back in just a little bit after I'm finished with this okay set is completely clean I am done prepping it and I've actually uh, used this on the bike wheels for my little motocross guys so that they roll better so let's move them out of the way let's take a look at setting this up now the battery goes down here and that's where I saw the Tommy name with the two little kids, see? So now I know that is a Tommy. And this just slips in this way. Okay. And this is the first piece, really, of the whole set. And there's the four flags that come with the set. One for each rider color. And like I said, the two trees that I handmade. I know they're not perfect, but they will do the trick. So let's see. So let me just get some of these sets. So I know that's E, this is F, so I need to find the F, that's C, that's D, that is F. Alright, so this one goes on here, that's set, those two are ready, and then on the bottom of these I need H and C, I just had C, that's D, that's C, so C goes on the bottom of that one. G and D, so I had D, so I know D goes there. And then let's see, let's see. G, let's see G. There we go, G. And then the last one should be H if everything works out. And yes, it does. All right. And oh, one more, I forgot. The last one is this main piece. This is B, and that's B. All right. So now we know this is a main connector to the whole track. So these kind of like slide in. Now I have played with this a little bit just to see how these work and it's very sensitive. You have to be very careful when you do that. And then a turn, so that's B, track B. And then that should go into track C. So if you see me taking my time or appearing to struggle, that's just because I'm being very careful. And then D is an orange track. Now this is really needs to, works on gravity, so that's kind of why it's working this way that the ramps start to go down. A, B, C, D. Let's get out of here. And now E, remember it's under, over, so E now goes under. So if you see an edit in the video here, it's just because I've slowly tried to put this in. Not sure I'll need to do it, but it's not easy to put them in every time. Okay, so there's my under, A, B, C, D, E. Let's get this out of the way. And now the F track, where's F? F is this one, going this way. So it is a process. I mean, the F is a unique track. It's the only one that's a single pin. These are all double pins. So I remember F being the hardest one to put in. So let me see where G is. Here's G. I might come back now and just kind of button this up a little bit. I wanted to show you the process. And then the last one is H. And H checks, H completes, H completes the loop. There's also numbers here. I see 12 and then a 13. So 10, 11, 12, 13. So there's numbers and letters to follow. Okay, so this is going to go and connect like this. All right, so I need to make one more connection. I'm going to do that off camera because it did take me a while the last time when I tested it, so I will be right back. All right, all snapped together and ready. Change my camera angle so you can see everything better. Let's get the starting line in next. Okay, so that goes there. So you lift this to start and all the bikes here, I'll show you just one. Motocross, 
There we go. See? Chum. I think that's going to lean up against the piece that's there when it's ready. And then he'll climb back up and then continue his race. So this piece now goes up here. So I guess the question is, how do you know which rider where? Let's set these all to zero. Okay, zero, 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 and zero. Okay. Well, you set this dial. So if I want blue, red, white, yellow, then I just twist it. If I want red, white, yellow, blue, then you set it like that. So let's let's do that. Let's make sure this is all in right, though. Oh, you don't want to lock in, do you? Hmm. Okay. I think that's going to hit. But either way, now we know blue... What color did I say? Red, white, yellow, blue is where it's at right now. Let me reset it to where I had it. Red, white, yellow, blue. All right, so I'm going to come over here. Hmm, I don't think this is locked in right. Hold on. Let me see. Why don't you want to lock in? Maybe it's really got to be pushed and snapped into that. There we go. Okay, that's better. So we had red. Okay, so you got a line up there. He's ready to go. And then white. Yellow. And then blue, so they're set. Now don't hit that. Let me get the... Uh, Item set up, so they show the trees in the black section. Now I made these, remember? Because the set was missing it. Hard to believe the set was missing just those two trees. And I'll just set it up just like they have it on the box. So a video like this normally could be like a eight to 10 minute video. But once you get all the setup in there and all that time in there, it takes a while, probably an hour, hour and a half, depending on the item. Okay, it is set. Looks like everything is ready. The counter is going to keep track. We got the order set. So I need to turn this on. I'm excited. Here we go. So we will say, Riders, start your engines. So the bikes are going to come here, get picked up, and then keep going around laughing. Here we go. Red guy had a false start. So not even if you get here first, you might not be the first one to go up. So they all have one lap now. Blue, two. Ooh, my tree fell out. So now White is in the lead. Nope, we have a three-way tie for fourth. I might have to fix my little tree. Three-way tie for fifth. Let me see if I can just zoom into that real quick here so you can see the time, the lap count. So there's nine laps. And the winner is going to be white if he makes it, lap nine. He's on his ninth lap. I think that's it. I think he is the winner. He goes back down to zero. There you go. So it's a 10 lap course. All right, let me turn that off. I wonder if they'll all line up here if I just restart you. Let's try that. Yes. Yeah. Riders are ready, but let's change the course now and change the colors here. So as you can see, now I can reset this. Uh-oh. I might have to adjust my tree slightly to blue, red, white, and yellow. Straight on, it looks better. That's blue, red, white, and yellow. So let's reset our little guys here.
Now, officially, my red wasn't completely set in correctly. I wonder if I just start them back here if they'll land in place. There we go. Blue. Red. As they bang their head on the starting gate. White. And then yellow. I'm not sure why my tree is not locking in a little bit better. Okay, it may fall out again. And I'll tell you what, let's just do a different perspective here. Kind of straight on so you can see the riders a little closer to you. You won't see the whole track, but it's enough to you so you can kind of see what they're doing. All right, here we go. Let's get this all set. Zero, zero, zero. Now you'll be able to watch this. So the first one to zero is the winner. I hope you can see that. All right, here we go. Start your engines. Let's hope they all start the same. Go. In the lead with yellow. Oh, now white is the first one to the engine block. Red has taken the lead. Red is still in the lead. He's on lap two. No one can catch up to Red. Uh-oh, it's getting close. Red is on lap number three. I wonder if, a, if one gets in the lead, if it will ever fall behind. It really depends on how it hits here. It's kind of random. So Red is still in the lead, lane number two. We have a two-way tie, number lane two and lane three. So White is catching up. Oh, he skipped back a little. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! Red almost passed him. I mean, White almost passed Oh, that's it. That is the end of the race. So lane number two wins. Let's put the gate down and get them all set, and I'll do it again from a different angle. We'll leave. Okay, do you think the lanes are a different, you know, option as regards to winning? Let's just switch this up again. So white, yellow, blue, red. So let's do that. You almost have to just let them go. White, yellow, let's see now, if red is just the speed racer, blue and red. So what's happening, this is kind of locking in here. I feel now, you can't pull them out when they're in here. This locks in and it will not come out and it's catching on this little lip here that what's pulling it up to the next level. Okay, so let's see. Now you've seen the timer, I mean the counter. Let me just set those to zero so we can make this an official race. I get to call the race, here we go. So now I can give you just a, maybe I can go a little wider here, just kind of show you the whole thing. Right, so we're not as worried about the lap counter. The tree stayed in place, here we go. Start your engine. <laughs> Here we go. Out of the gate is red again. First to the line. Wow, red is really kicking it. Look at him huddle. I gotta get you a close up of their little feet. It's hilarious. Ooh, yellow has taken the lead. It's a really close race now. Red and blue are neck and neck. This will determine who takes the lead. Ah, blue, oh, oh, blue takes the lead. And it's lane three, so it's, there's no lane choice preference. Uh-oh, Red is back in the lead. Red just does not give up. 
Two more laps. Oh, blue. It's tied. It's tied. This is it. First one up wins. Oh, blue wins. Woohoo! All right. Let me put down my starting gate. Let them all get stuck. Turn this off. Oops, sorry. That's off. I want to give you a close... Let me just uh, work on a better camera angle. I want to give you a close-up of their little feet pedaling. It's kind of fun to watch. So I'll set up and come right back. All right, so I hope you can see the counter up there. Everybody's set to zero. Okay. And now I changed the lane color uh, assignment here. So it's yellow, white, red, blue. So let's turn it on. Here we go. I just wanted to see them drive by in the front here. Here we go. Here is race number, I don't know, three or four. Here we go. And Blue is in the lead. Whee! Look at their little legs pedal. Now keep an eye on the counter up there. Looks like White is in the lead now, so pay attention to lane number two. Still in the lead. So White and Red are tied now. White is still winning. Okay, this is it. White has to beat Red up there. Don't fall. Oh, it was so close. By half a wheel. All right, let me set it up one more time and give you another angle. All right, here we go. Winner takes all. It seems like lanes two and three are the hot lanes for racing today. Hope you learned a little bit on how I put toys together, set them up, clean them up. A video like this normally might be a 10-minute video, but... The time it takes to do all the cleanup and get it ready and to craft my two uh, faux trees here. Those took a little bit of time, about a half hour to get those ready. So it does take time depending on, you know, what's with the item, how much cleanup and what you have to do to get ready. But now it's race time. It's the final race. I've left them in the same order they were before. Let's turn it on. And I can say thanks for watching and supporting Lucky Penny Shop. Riders, are you ready? Here we go. Ooh, white guy. A little late to the start there. But he caught up pretty quick, didn't he? Red wins! Langer!
If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.